<laughs> Today you're coming with me to go get bubblegum. <laughs> I've got my bulletproof coffee right here and you have to come with me to get glasses and bubble gum. So I don't really do shoots like I'm about to do, but I'm really excited. So I've got this thing, this data color, uh, color reader. And of course it's in horrific packaging. Got it. I don't know how to use it yet, literally just took it out, but this is what we got. And uh, this is data color reader. So what it's going to do is I am going to pick something, and this is actually one of the things I'm gonna pick right here. Yes, this is my eye cream. No, I don't know if it works. <laughs> you tell me. And I'm gonna read these colors and then, using this thing, and read the colors and then order backgrounds from Savage that match these colors. And my idea, my whole thought process is one, I really like this color. It's kind of like a Tiffany blue and just thought it would make a fun background. But why I want bubble gum is I want to get the same color background as the bubble gum, have my model blow a bubble. And then what I want to do is also get the exact opposite color. So some kind of bright green color background just to see what that looks like too and have some fun. I never get to do shoots like this, so I'm excited. And you're coming with me, all right? So, glasses first. <sighs> oh, oh, I hate New Jersey. New Jersey is cold. All right, here we go. Brought my life with me. Oh, that was just a lens cap. Here we go. Right, I feel like if anywhere has this, right? Good old Walgreens. All right, here we go, bubblegum. Bubblegum. Here are some contenders, get one of those. I feel like bubblegum's always good. That's a good color. You know what, let's just do that. Who wants to know my favorite candy bar ever? <laughs> this one. Kind of limp. <laughs> Don't need it today. Let's just get these. How are you doing? Good, how you doing? Oh, here we go. Why is it so cold? Why? Why? <sighs> oh, man, is that cold. All right, bubble yum. Let's see if this is what I want. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go drive to, uh, well, see, I got this. Here we go. I'm really Jersey now. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna need to get some coffee on the way here. Oh, I forgot I have my coffee right here. Forgot I have my coffee right here. All right, I'm at my do eye doctor, so I'm gonna download the thing, but I've learned a few things. I've learned that one, this gum gets stale real fast. Two, the color is like, it's kind of peachy, but I don't mind it. Maybe we're gonna do like a pastel type bubble gum pop. Let me see if I can download my, my thing. Data color, color ready, color reader easy. Data color, color reader. Oh, that looks like it, right? Yes. Okay. Color reader would like to use Bluetooth. Okay, connect. Okay. No devices found nearby. To have to turn it on. I should have read the manual. Wake up color reader. Before connecting, press the button. Oh. <laughs> Tell me how to get the color. But where is it reading it from? you guys that flips open and that's where the magic happens mm -mm. it's so much blue mm -mm. you're wrong let's just put up to the gum mm. Mm. that's it it did it all right so we learned that we need to put it flat against the thing so Cocoa, okay, save reading. Pink cocoa. And then what I think I wanna do also, since I really like the way that, I know I said I was gonna do like the opposite color of the gum, but why don't I just do this? Cause, did I match? This is a good contrasty color. Put that down, read. Yes, guys, blazing blue. This is good. Okay, save, cap it. Blazing blue, save. 
So just we get something totally different. I'm gonna get this really red lipstick that I have and I'll measure that and then we'll start ordering all this stuff from Savage. Okay, I just thought you'd wanna see. What do you think? Make me look smart? Oh, this gum is just disgusting at this point. That went a good 10 feet. All right, go and get the red lipstick. Welcome to Jersey winter. Nothing cute about it. It's just cold and ugly and annoying. Oh, that is red. This is not my color. I look like a clown. Let's see if I just get it like as close as I can. I touched it. Ugh, I made a mess. Oh, and then look at that, it came out purple. Hmm, all right, let's get this off of here. I think you just came in at the best time ever because you are wearing a color red that I want to capture. Does the red on your sleeve, sleeve look like this red? Mm. A little. A little. Let's do it anyway. Let's, let's read it. Let me see your sleeve. Or actually, let's do your headband. Oh, okay. That's closer. Let's go with that. Right? And not quite. But I can always make it darker with lighting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to go in the snow? Yes! Okay, go in the snow. <laughs> now, for the love of God. Ugh. Okay, so now here I am on Savage Universal's website that I've got going on, but what I can do and one of the coolest things about this and the color reader in the app is that I have fan decks, they're called, uh, that's what they call them anyway, and they're decks of colors from different companies so I can find the closest match. So if I go into the colors, it says your color collections and you've got Benjamin Moore and Farron and Ball and all the way down, oh, yep, we've got Savage Seamless Universal. So I'm gonna go into my palettes. I'm gonna go to Bubblegum. It thinks the closest is uh, Mocha, um, which would definitely be incorrect because I'm looking on the website right here and I see Coral and I feel like that's a better match. So we're gonna go with Coral. Let's go to here, get match from Savage Universal. And this one thinks that highest match quality, primary red, okay. Oh, there, primary red seamless paper. Okay, there we go. This isn't so bad, this is working. Anyway, the thing is it's getting close to the color, but what I can always do is really change the color any way I want with gels, or I can make it brighter or darker, depending on the light and what else I've got going on. Oops. All right, and let's go ahead and do the last one. Baby blue, the closest was baby blue, and it has Highest match quality, so number 47, baby blue, there it is. All right, cool. So let's get these going, let's get these ordered, and I will see you next in the studio. I'm gonna go through and pick out some of my favorite photos here. I'll obviously show you my favorites, but what I'm doing that's fun that I never do is I'm having my photo retouched professionally by a friend of mine, Christy Shirk, and uh, yeah, and I'll, I just kind of want to see like her take on it. You know, I can edit my own photo to an extent. I'm not that great at it, but you know, I just uh, want to see what a professional retoucher would do with some of my absolute favorite photos. So. Let's find some. So these are my super faves. Straight out of camera fun. I gotta pick, 
I guess the ones for her to retouch. Let me narrow it down to about three, one for each background. All right, a little closer. I think I'm gonna have to go to the gram, get people to tell me which one, I don't know. I guess you don't know either. I'm just gonna go ahead and send them to Christy and uh, yeah, you'll find out in a second which ones she retouched. Hey everyone, I was really lucky to be able to work on Vanessa Joy's image of this beautiful model. What I wanna do is just show you the before and the after of all of the retouching that I did on this shot. You can see I made the uh, bubble like a little bit more round and got rid of that weird spot on the side of the bubble. And then I did a lot of work on the hair and again, got rid of some wrinkles uh, with the shirt and kind of just improved a little bit on the, the shirt and fixed up the line of the background. So I hope you guys have enjoyed a peek behind the curtain and thank you again to Vanessa for allowing me to work on this awesome shot. If you want to download over $200 of free items, you can use the link that is below in the description, but also it is sharkpixel.com slash store. So that's it. Here are my favorite two images from the shoot. I have to say, this has been a lot of fun. You may or may not know, I'm a working photographer, so I photograph weddings and I get commissioned by consumers to create photos. I very rarely, this actually might be the very first time I've ever had a shoot in mind, brought to fruition just by what I wanted to do versus what I was getting paid to do. And that also goes for the retouching. I don't retouch my photos unless my client asks for it. But in this case, I really wanted to work with Christy and get a final polished image. Now, you guys can of course fight about, you know, the definition of beauty and should we be retouching images to that extent and self-esteem and all those things in the comments and we'll see where we go with that i'll let you know my thoughts on it in the comments but i think it was really nice just being able to see a final retouched polished image of something so obviously this was brought to you by data color and if you have the chance pick up that data color reader find something around you that just inspires you whatever it is and go out and do a shoot just for you or for a client, I don't know, do what you want. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything here on my YouTube channel and let me know what you thought of the images. Bye.